Hello, Kim Wan, Sweet and Jay. Nemo is here. Nemo the cat and Nemo the horse in the game. I'm so ready to do some collecting. Are you ready for a roll goal though? I'm ready for a roll goal. Alright. Hello, hello. Nemo. Nemo's been so sleepy today. He took like three naps with me <laughs> throughout today. I've been taking many naps today as well. It's been a good day. I got like a big thing done, took a nap, got a big thing done, took a nap, and now I ate dinner and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the life of a cat. I am also known to be cat-like in behavior and sleep schedule wise. Welcome in y'all. I hope you're having a good week so far. Welcome to New Suites. Wii U Pro Controller, which has not been charged still. Can I angle this camera down to Nemo more? There we go. He's so perfect, so talented. I didn't hear the Olimar. Maybe it was just so low. I don't know what happened. All right. Uh, so we now have the double claw shot. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, the last thing we did was we went to the city in the sky and we got the last mirror shard and we brought it back to the... What's it called? We brought it back to the place, uh, the mirror chamber. And then the portal opened up and then we were like, all right, let's back away slowly and let's do our 100%ing stuff before we continue on. So uh, we are now going to like explore the world with our double claw shots, which uh, we've had, oh, my notepad. I have some things written down for where we can use our double claw shot. Uh, one of the places is the fire temple, which we need to revisit because there's still a chest in there. I still don't know what it's going to be like, but hopefully it becomes evident once we get there. Um, also, I'm going to start us off with a game of roll goal because <laughs> um, a set of roll goal because there is so much roll goal to be done, apparently. I didn't know it was gonna be this much, but we're gonna we're gonna work through it. All right. Uh, world five of roll goal. What is our? What's our time limit now? One forty. Okay. We can do this. I believe in us. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this, uh, specifically this roll goal game. Or like, how we talked about a bunch of different Zeldas last time we were playing this game. Um, but I've been thinking about Skyward Sword HD recently and just how much fun the motion controls were. It's been, it's been a second since we've played a motion control game. Cause I haven't played Wii Sports Resort since last summer. I'm considering picking up Wii Sports Resort and practicing golf in my free time. <laughs> uh, maybe not necessarily on stream. But I also have been finding a lot of stuff to do recently. Like drawing stuff. And hanging out with the cats. Oh my gosh, be careful. I re I wonder what the smallest number the... I haven't done the math yet. I wonder what the smallest number the timer is going to be. At least I cleared that in... Und I cleared that in about 15 seconds. So if it's going to be 20 seconds, we just have to get good at the later 
the later levels, right? It'll be fine. I don't know if I want to do the math. I don't think I want to think about it that hard yet. We're on world 5 at 140. And it goes down by 20 every time. That's as far as I'll think about it. Okay, but now I've made myself aware of how long it takes me to, to clear each thing. And I was like, oh no! It's almost taking me more than 20 seconds that time. It's fine. I'm just imagining Henna like scrambling to set up the next level because she knows that we just walk in and out of the building. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay. In in 20 seconds. I won't think about it. We'll just we'll just get used to the, the controls again. No! This is what I need all these rupees for. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? That was a weird clipping at the end. That was so f too fast. No! I was trying to make it more diagonal. But my thumb was being very horizontal. No, go up. Go diagonal up. You need to be able to jump over like one block wide gaps. Kirby, uh, tilt and tumble style. Oh gosh. Okay, we're back here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do I want to do the math? Maybe I want to... I don't know! I hope it stops at one minute. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they should be that intense about it. Hannah... <laughs> Hannah, it's not that intense, right? I'm getting nervous. Five, five. I feel like this one is actually like one of the hardest because of the curves. Oh, frick. I didn't turn it sideways. Okay. I hope Hannah appreciates us thoroughly playtesting her game that she made. <laughs> I want to make games again. I also I get inspired when I see um, when we stand in the toy section at Target and we look at all the board games. I've never designed a board game, but uh, I think it could be cool. Maybe sometime I will try. For like some simple board games, you could like buy Neo. He's going to the toy box to pick out some toy. Aww, what's he gonna choose? You did it once when you were young, designing a board game, an RPG styled one. That's cool. Ooh, I just made like fake Pokemon cards, and I liked making fake cards and cutting them into card shape and stuff. 
but yeah, that's the thing. A cool thing about like designing a custom board game is for your playtests and stuff. You can make like printable stuff, and other people can play it just by downloading your printables. Bye, Nemo. I don't know what he's doing. He's he's roaming around. I think he wants to play. He's picking up pipe cleaners on the ground. Ah. Uh. I have a friend who, uh, designed a board game prototype for a game design course in college. They went to a different college than me, so I did not get to take this class. <laughs> but it all, that seems very cool. But yes, I have itchy to do some game designing and stuff. Oh no, we went too fast. Yeah. I like uh having like things presented in uh in an orderly way like in class curriculum. So, I'm sure I would enjoy a game design course. Yeah. I would like probably do too much art stuff for it but uh i think it would be fun still and since it's like a class project i'm sure they give you like or i would hope that they give you like some nice guidelines about like how to approach it and like what kind of mechanics you should include who you're thinking of who are you thinking of that took the class I don't know if you know. <laughs> Tachi? Oh, uh. N that's not who I'm thinking of. But I don't know if she's taken game design courses. She teaches game design stuff. But yeah, I'm thinking of someone else. Ugh, no. I'm zooming too fast. I'm also trying to do it without rotating the camera. Since I know that I take a long time to rotate. It would be nice to just know like how much I need to tilt. The control stick and like for how long in order to pass teacher in game design yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i see all these pride bees is your favorite emote i don't think you need to stop using it so much i think it conveys a nice tone Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Okay. We'll go again. Are those global emotes? Or were they like from something? I can't remember. Oh my gosh. I don't like it when I get off center. Oh frick! I thought I was going to make it up. <laughs> they were during Pride Month one year where you could collect them. I see. Darn. Aww. It's been so long now. Yeah. It's weird because like... Every so often I'll just realize that like... Aww. The years that are 10 years ago now... I'm not- <laughs> imagine this. The years that are 10 years ago now are not the same years that were 10 years ago 10 years ago. It's 10 years ago years is not 2004 anymore. It's 2014. That's so wild. I can't believe time does that. <laughs> you would guess it was 2020 because you remember being around, but you weren't committed to having a Twitch account yet. I see. My account says it's made in uh, 2017 because I made it to watch and comment on um, my college's 
Smash tournament that they were streaming on Twitch as well because I didn't want to stay out so late. So I just was like, I'll watch the stream at my dorm room. And then I didn't use Twitch again until 2020. Those are the five you could get. Yeah, Pride Laugh and Pride Pog are so good. Those ones are my favorite out of those. I think this, that was all of the roll goals. I think that was the hardest one, but I'm gonna go double check. Uh, I mean, out of world five. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we got to world six. Calling it worlds. I was introduced to this uh, level dash level by Mario. Okay. What should we do first? We are going to be going like all over the place quite a bit. So I'm going to start with the fire temple and then we're going to do double claw shot things and then we'll save Poe hunting and cave of ordeals for a little bit later. Want to guess how old your account is? I think I remember you saying that your account is as old as like when Twitch used to be Justin.tv. Who is Justin? <laughs> Twenty ten? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Was I even allowed on the internet in twenty ten? I wasn't technically allowed on the internet <laughs> to make accounts on the internet when it was twenty ten. I was only twelve. Like at the end of twenty ten. I would have been eleven for most of that year. June twenty ten, wow. Um how do we get into the fire temple again? I think we have to climb all the way up. Also, I'm wondering if there are any... Oh, wait. Is there an elevator in here? I can't remember. We only went in here, like, a little bit. Yes. Okay. The other thing that's on my mind is that we don't know where this last pair of bugs is. So, I'm just gonna have that in the back of my mind every time we go into an area where we haven't found bugs. You didn't really start watching watching until like 2014. I see, I see. Yeah. School and work a lot. Yeah. I am part of the, I'm sure, lots of people who started becoming active on Twitch in 2020 because you couldn't like go anywhere in person. <laughs> Or like, didn't want to, or couldn't, or shouldn't. Uh. Oops. Hey little human, the elder told me of your deeds. Good work. I heard that girl got her memory back. That is good news, huh? You were a tough human to make it back from the bygone village. Thanks. Oh my gosh. You're so tiny. Those scoundrels Gore Ebzo and Gore Lynx went to Kakariko Village and have not come back, young human. Their absence is strange, for I have heard that from Darvis that Kakariko Village is safe now. Perhaps they just enjoy it there. Gore Ebzo... Ebzo... Or... I forgot the name. Are they in Malo Mart now? Or do they run like a, a Malo Mart shop in... Um, in Kakariko Village. I wonder what happened of the old Malomart in Kakariko Village. I should check it out. Uh, anyways, we are trying to get to that last chest over there on the second floor. It's all the way in the back corner in this big open room towards the back of the dungeon. So we have to get through uh, to the back of the dungeon. I wonder if there's any like any things we can skip. Oh frick! My angle was off. We just got so singed. This lava is so bright and hot. Like I don't think we had a claw shot when we first came here. Uh. What was even the weapon that we got while we were here? 
I mean, the item. I think, oh yeah, the bow. So we didn't have the claw shot yet. Where did we get the claw shot? Uh. Oh yeah, the water temple. Or the Zora temple. Um, where's the button? Is there anything grabbable over there? Quick shotable? I don't think so. I think we just have to go around. Oh, whoops. I need to redo this. I was supposed to do a U-turn right there. We just have to get ourselves pretty far into the dungeon before we even get to like start figuring out what this chest is even going to ask of us to do. Hello Rupi mine, nice to see you. I hope you are doing well. It's backtracking day. I have gotten all of the uh, the mirror shards and now we're we're backtracking with the double claw shots and everything to try to find pose get any treasure chests that ah oh no get any treasure chests that oh we made it that like we could reach for the double claw shot or other items and we're gonna do the cave of ordeals later which is i'm sure is going to be an ordeal or two or more i'm good i had a good day uh i didn't really s i don't know my sleep schedule has been weird i didn't really sleep last night but then i got stuff done in the morning and last night and then i took a nap and then i got more stuff done and then i took a nap and then so i'm like in this weird flow but it's working fine i think we can catch a ride here when it connects back. But yeah, I don't know. I think the, the cats just had so much energy this morning that I couldn't sleep. Or I couldn't go back to sleep or something. Uh, can I still make- oh my gosh! <laughs> we, we made it, okay. Let's just go through this door. Willie Nelson. Who is Willie Nelson? Were you listening to some music? I do not know of Willie Nelson. Maybe a uh, classic country singer. Oh, okay. Maybe I, I can keep that name in mind for uh, me, Kim Won, and Sweet play Crossword a lot. And uh, I'm really not good with names when names come up in Crossword. So maybe I can remember it. Uh, is there a way? Okay, we can just jump up. I see. All right, this is the room. The chest is all the way up there on that platform. Oh, okay. It looks like it has some netting that we can claw shot. Uh, but it's a little busy here. We did not have a claw shot the last time we were here, so we wouldn't have been able to try that. It's so busy. Ah! Ah! Okay, where would we need a stand for that? Over here? Waylon Jennings is another country singer he often collaborated with. When you say classic country singer, is that like older country meaning? Like or or like a specific time period? Ah yes. Here we go. How how could they do this? How can how could they put this? Like literally every other dungeon you can get all of the treasure chests 
with the items in the dungeon. Why would they do this in this specific dungeon? 1970s, I see. Hylian letter U, no U. Thank you, treasure chest. Now, how do we get out of here? We don't even have an uku. <laughs> no. How do I leave? Oh, can we warp? No, frick. No, we can't. No. When was Clawshot gotten? Clawshot was gotten in the temple after this one, or in the dungeon af right after this one. So it did, it looks like we didn't need the double claw shot, so it's not that bad. But it's still like the only case that I can think of where we couldn't get the chest without revisiting. Oh, I guess I have to. I just gotta go back. Or maybe maybe the boss room is closer. No. I don't even know where the boss room is. Oh, is it that? Yeah, okay. I think if we go to the boss, if we go to the boss room, then Midna will warp us out. So we'll try to go to the boss room. I'm thinking, I'm like, can you do the Zora temple before you do the Goron Mines temple, or do you have to do them in this order? Because we have the. How do we get the Zora armor? Because we have the iron boots. I don't know. I feel like you have to, I don't know. This is a forced backtracking. Wow, yeah, it just stands out to me so much since there's none of the other temples or dungeons did that. Outlaw country is a subgenre of con country. Ch challenge creative freedom from Nashville country's music establishment. That's interesting. Nashville is such a place. Uh, pull me through, excuse me. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. I'm just trying to go home. Uku isn't here to save me anymore. Okay, and just double checking. We don't have any more uh, chests in this dungeon. And it doesn't have a Poe count on here, so. Let's get out of here! Did Nemo leave Kim Lan? Did Nemo go out of the room? Okay, bye Nemo. Alright, let's head out of here. Thanks, Midna. Okay, now I can check that off of our list. Grab my pen. Trust in the fire temple, done. Um, we have some double claw shot things that we can revisit in the field. But first... Oh, okay. Someone will see us. But first, let's do the star game. Let's... Let's, uh... Return to our adoring fans. With our triumphant return of double claw shot. Uh, not, not there. Castletown. Welcome back, sweet. Did you catch when the claw shot was gotten? In the Zora water temple? Yeah, I've heard about... I've heard... About the concept of Nashville, um, from... Mr. Katsu, wait! I grew up listening to Taylor Swift, so, you know, back when she was starting in country music. <laughs> I heard a bit about Nashville, and then some Spotify artists that I, I read their bios. Like, there's still a lot of people who, like, get their start in Nashville and stuff. Um, it was the U stamp. It letter U. Did they... 
have that chest in the in the GameCube version? Greetings, Mr. Katsu. I have come to deliver a letter. There is a letter for you. Two letters, in fact. You, yes, you. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. That chest is in GameCube. Oh, okay. Bye, postman. Thank you. Let's look at our letters. Ah, ah, I can't navigate the screen. Challenge for you? Ladies and gentlemen, the star game that has swept Hyrule by storm is now available in Castletown. Even those of you who have beaten it once will find all new challenges and thrills. Come find us in the tent on the Westgate Road. We'll be waiting. I'm on my way. Hey, kid! From Junior? <laughs> wow, kid. Awesome! My son said that he wanted to write you a letter. He worked so hard on it. Goodness, yes. <laughs> Uku's son wrote us a letter. Oh my gosh. No, we're dropping frames. No, I don't know why. You're getting buffering too. Dang. We thank you for all your help, both on land and in the sky. The other Uka, thank you as well. Come visit us anytime. Take care. Okay. The bitrate came back up, so hopefully... If you refresh, then you'll be caught up, and we should be good. We were just dropping frames for a bit. But yeah, let's, let's go do the star game. What kind of music do I like to listen to? I like to listen to anything with... The best way for me to describe it is I like to listen to anything with fun guitars or fun rhythms. Uh, mostly the fun guitars. I like crunchy guitars. Um, I grew up listening to Taylor Swift a lot. So I like a lot of, like, storytelling, like, lyrics. But I don't know. I listen to a lot of different things, I think. Uh, what was I thinking of? Oh, I wanted to say, knock on wood, please OBS, please don't freeze on us today. It's been freezing recently, um, I don't know, something about OBS and the graphics card. The updates are like, iffy right now, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully it gets resolved. Funk music? I don't know if I've listened to very much funk music. Maybe I should. Good sir! Oh my gosh, he is so pointing at us, look, he's like, less than another finger away from my nose. Care to play a star game revenge match for a mere 15 rupees? I'll do it. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. <laughs> good sir, are you at the ready? Then away we go. All right, I'm so ready for this redemption run. Oh my God. Uh, whoops, I messed up. <laughs> Let me get up there. Wow. I need to aim a little bit higher, I think. Where do we go from here? Yellow? I think so. Now we're on blue. This is very satisfying. Yellow, I think. I actually... I actually have no idea where we go next. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything will be fine. Red. Uh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should fall. It's so satisfying with the right tool. Yeah. Never mind. Uh. We kind of found path. I lost the path at some point. But I'm sure we can do it in a few more tries. Oh, I missed the other red one. But yeah, there is like the there's like the column of yellow. I don't know. Maybe that one is the last one to do. 
You saw when the path was lost. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to uh, what color we're running into next. Like, uh, so red, and then I don't know. It looks like yellow at the end there. Yeah, and then blue. white and then this red Ooh. it looks like yellow I can't really see blue I don't know <laughs> I don't know where to go ah okay I think we got it yes Oh, whoops. No, <laughs> wait, go back! <laughs> no, please! <laughs> Yay! We did it. Is the, did the color pattern repeat? Or I was just like looking at... Um, like when we reached the end of the line, we would like eat the next color. And so if I didn't pay attention before we ate it, then I wouldn't know where to go next. <laughs> or like it would be... You'd have to like look for where it's aligned. Thank you for PP, we did it! Red Hot Chili Peppers and Prince. I've only listened to a bit of each. What the? You did it? Oh, what a magnificent day this is! The debut of a superstar. Let huzzahs and accolades ring forth. To the superstar, I shall give this! Wow! Oh my gosh! Giant's quiver? I kind of forgot that we got... A big quiver from this guy. Congratulations! Yes and well yes, well and truly. You've claimed what you sought, so you're likely all through, hmm? Many thanks for playing, good sir. Don't come again. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that dialogue was like You're likely done here, right? Right? You better be done here. Get out of here. <laughs> thanks. Giant quiver, this is amazing. I will gladly take more arrows. Wow, why do we have 100 arrows already? I thought it was gonna be like at 60 or 50. They gave us arrows as well. Hi. <laughs> They're making parts. Hi, puppy. Okay, let me check that off. Star game is all checked off. Hole in Hyrule Field south of Castletown. Okay, let's go to that one. Since we're right here. You forgotten you could get that much? Yeah. Uh it It's it's a lot of arrows. I don't know like what the arrow count was like in Ocarina of Time or um Majora's Mask or Skyward Sword, but a hundred seems like a ton. Jimi Hendrix as well, Rupee Mine. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, hey, Nemo's still here. Okay, wait, wait, there, there's this chest up here. How do we, how do I get that chest? I have no idea. Okay, anyways, I'll show you. There is a hole with some clash audible things over here. That chest is still a mystery to me. But yeah, I saw this before, but like, since we only had one claw shot uh, before this, like, it didn't really make sense to go in here because there wouldn't be a way back up for us. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really far down. Can we just let go from here? No, I think we have to go down carefully. Wow, this is so hidden. I feel like I couldn't even see it, like, from up there. Got a stamp! Letter V. Check out your stamps on the collection screen. Okay. Uh, Let's head back up. Do you think I can just grab those vines? Maybe not. So far. Maybe I can grab her from this next one. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you can't 
You can't claw shot again off of vines. Don't get it mixed up. <laughs> oh no, I let go. Uh, why would they do that to us? You can only claw shot again off of like grates. All right. Now. This chest exists up here. I don't know what to do. Is, is there any like secretly clash audible thing? Is that window like something I can go into? Here, let's see. Okay, none of these banners aren't clash audible or anything. What's that? Oh wait, it's just like a portal in the sky. You don't remember getting this chest? Yeah, the portal was sticking out a little bit. Oh man, it's so teasing me because it was... We've been seeing this chest for, for quite a while. Um, let me get back up to the top so I can show it off. Um, and then... I still haven't tried wearing the magic armor. Now that we have more rupees, uh, I could try it just to see what it's like. Let's read the description. I haven't read the description since buying it. I don't think it'll allow us to fly. Magic armor, armor that protects its wearer by making rupees magical. Without rupees, it impedes movement. Here we are with the magic armor. Uh, it's, wow, we look so fancy. Hello, Chibi Manny, nice to see you. Yeah, we look very fancy, but I don't feel like we have any better movement options. Okay, there's the chest over there. It's on the pillar that is the opposite of where I am. Oh, there's a rope leading to it. And there's a rope leading to here. But once I cross this rope, I don't know where it is possible to go. Here, we have to be a wolf to cross. It makes your rupees magical, is that not an ability? I don't know what it does. Let's see. What is, why is our rupees going down? What is happening? Oh my god! Can I fly? No, I can't. Why are rupees going down? <laughs> no! I need to take this off. I thought it'll only go down. I bet the rupees are being uh, fed right into the pockets of Malomar and whoever designed this, designed this uh, armor. Did I change out of it? Okay, cool. Uh... I thought the rupees were only going to go down if I was getting damaged, but it just started going down right away. Okay, Minna, help us out here. Paid subscription to armor, yeah. It says without, without rupees, it impedes movement. So what am, I, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Can I go up here? Minna, help me! Oh my gosh! Is there anything that I can claw shot from back here? I'm pretty sure I looked at this before. And I didn't see anything claw shotable. This chest is such a mystery. They had something to do with the inflation, yeah. Yeah, the game does make you think that. I feel like their description of the magic armor, like, in the shop... They said, like, oh, it makes you invincible, and it takes rupees instead of hearts. But it just takes rupees constantly. What? Ledge is suspicious? Yeah, it does look so suspicious. Let's take a look at the ledge again. I don't remember the solution. I don't know. We should have all of the 
all the things now. I'm not sure either, but yeah, let me actually properly get up there and we can take a look again. Who's that? Ah, a Kirby lurk emote. Have a good lurk, Chibi Manny. That's a cute emote. Oh, frick. Why is this so finicky? This circle. Oh my god. Also, Jay, this is random, but uh, I started playing a Super Mario Sunshine co-op mod with Sweet, and it actually runs really well. Like, I don't know, I don't have high expectations for like co-op mods, because we tried, we've been doing a Pikmin 2 one. And it's like, it's finicky here and there, but the Sunshine one is much newer, it seems, and like... It's really cool. After some settings tweaks, yeah, they have it listed in their Discord what settings you should use. But like, it's cool, like, each player can talk to NPCs and like... Yeah, ugh, oh, this ledge. It looks like a ledge, but it's also like flush with the wall. I'm pretty sure we tried to sense. Can- can we just- can we dig into the wall? Uh... Talk to NPCs, we did have a game crash with it, but it's still pretty cool. Can you go to different levels at the same time? No, you go to levels together. But like, the whole map is- you can be on different parts of the map at the same time. Uh... I'm gonna look around for things that are... Like, the roof isn't grabbable. I know that's a spinner rail, but like, it doesn't lead to anywhere. We don't have a spinner rail up here, but it looks like there should be one. But yeah, it's pretty fun, and like, it's- it's, uh, so far it's been a refreshing way to play Sunshine again for me. You need something more powerful than just Dolphin to be able to go to two different levels at once. Yeah! Probably. Yeah, you can play as Luigi. I want to play as Luigi next time. Maybe... Here, okay. I have an idea. We have a wolfie that we haven't talked to. Maybe they have... Maybe they have a tip for us. <laughs> is there a secret ladder here? Show me a secret ladder or something. Oh my gosh. This chest. Let's go talk to the wolf that's sitting in front of Hyrule Castle. If possible. I don't actually know if we can reach where they are. But we haven't tried yet, so let's go there. Take sword in hand and find me. I don't have this chest written down, so let me write it down. Chest south of Castle Town. Okay, and we did the one that is in the hole in Hyrule Field south of Castle Town, but now we have a new chest south of Castle Town. Okay, oh, the door is ajar! Oh my gosh. We've never been here. Grab. Can I open it more? Oh my gosh! Oh, there's the wolf! Hi! Oh my gosh! Is this like- this is such a barrier. Wow, this is just like in, in Wind Waker. Okay. Let's learn this skill. What if it's like ledge- Ledge grabbing. I guess I could try lowering myself so that Link is like holding the ledge and then walking him across with his hands because he's a- he's a ninja warrior. We can try that. Let's- let's try that. 
It looks like the ledge is big enough for his hands, but not to walk on. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique, and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can be earned only by the one true hero? I do. Very well. Then before we begin, I will test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now then, come at me. I forgot where the jump strike is. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have like a shockwave jump. We can charge up with A. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. So charge up with B is the spin attack, our classic spin attack, and then charge up with A is this jump attack, jumping towards them, and it has a shockwave. Very well. My final hidden skill is the great spin. Oh my gosh, more spin. Yes, I love the spinning attack. Let it be honed into your mind. Let's see. Great spin. You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that energy is when your life energy is brimming full. Oh, okay. We don't get sword beams in this game. I wonder, like, what game... What game, like, sword beams are a thing in? Or is that just a Kirby thing? I thought it was a Kirby thing that was, uh, brought over from Zelda. Because of Kirby sword being, like, Link. I don't know. I haven't played a 2D Zelda in a while. Maybe it's in 2D Zeldas. Like, if you have full hearts, you can shoot a sword beam. Now, try unleashing this spin attack on me. Okay, I guess we just charge B. They didn't say anything. Wow, it's a large. Yeah, pew pew. With the range. You remember it being in the first one? Oh, okay. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the great spin, has been passed on. That is so cool. I am already a fan of the spin attack, so I'm glad we get a bigger one. But yeah, we need it with full life energy for even more damage. And it looks like the range is bigger too. You have at last mastered all of the hidden skills. Is this the last time we'll see you? Goodbye. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last. You who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded. You surely can restore Hyrule to its stature of yore as the chosen land of the gods. Your Farewell. Fare thee well. Go and do not falter, my child. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Wolfie. Who do you think this guy was in life? I don't know. He said our blood. And he said, my child. We're, we're pulling an Ash Ketchum real quick. Who was that? Was that our dad? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I wonder how Link ended up in Ordon Village in this game. Did they really say? Ah, oh, the camera's so spinning. Okay, we met the wolf. That wasn't on my list, so I don't need to check it off. Uh, we're gonna go do the chest. I have my idea, and then we'll do more double claw shot things. Sure, it's a capital Q question. I don't remember if they said anything in the beginning of the game of how Link arrived in Ordon Village, so... It's been a while since we started this game, maybe like three months ago, so... I don't know. I'd be down to be reminded and learn about things. Oh, who the sword wolf was? I don't know, was that... Is that like our, our long lost parent? You don't know about Ordon Village? Okay, okay. They're more explicitly stated in Hyrule Historia books or something. I see. 
Huh. What was it, uh, the book that... The other Hyrule book that exists? Is it Hyrule Compendium? I would like to have more art books and stuff in the future. They seem really cool to have and go through. Okay, can I... I can't believe this is the solution! <laughs> I can't... I can't handle this! You're what, Jay? You were thinking of selling all three, but you're- What? No way, really? Wait! That's really generous to say. We- We finally made it across. I can't believe that was the solution. I'd love to look at them, Jay. That's really generous of you to say, if you're sure. I would not say no, and I would take care of them. I didn't know that it's a trilogy, because I only really knew of the compendium. You remember that Henna dropped the lore, so we knew- we know this is placed after Oot. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe- so maybe- maybe Oot Link is our father. <laughs> so you can reclean and all that. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've just been getting settled a little bit, so now I feel a little bit better about, like, having stuff again, because, like, last year when we were moving a lot, I was like, I need to have as little stuff as possible so that moving is easy. And then, like, I went through all my stuff in my family's house, and yay, we got the chest. I went through all my stuff in my family's house and got rid of old clothes and, and a bunch of stuff that I don't need anymore. So now I'm finally at a point where I feel like I can take care of its stuff and keep things again. Quadrilogy. Do the Breath of the Wild. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to look at like what that whole collection and stuff. That whole collection is like. But yeah. Oh my gosh. That is very nice of you to say. Yeah, what are some infos about the sword person suite? Maybe Ancestor. Yeah, I don't know how much time either. Um, Henna said Ancestor about the fishing guy from Oot. And my family making us feel bad for having stuff. Yeah, like they're like, you have too much stuff. It doesn't fit in the house. Blah, 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 blah. Where do we go now? Um, East Hyrule field chest with double claw. East Hyrule field chest oh this one okay i can't warp why am i near someone oh excuse me sir sword person is left-handed and howls warp songs from oot oh yeah oh my gosh it is us from oot oh wow yeah left-handed the hero is left-handed that's a cool detail um, can we warp now, Minna? <laughs> Kakuriko Gorge, here we go. But yeah, I was like, um, over the past months and stuff, I've been working on organizing how we can in our room here. And I feel like I've, t I've gotten a good, like, sense of how much stuff I have now and like what stuff I want to replace like I need to get my own computer chair again because right now I'm just using a random chair that has existed in the house like for the cats or something maybe someone used it before me yeah I, I need a I need a new computer chair again they're also a stalfos perhaps which is what people who get lost in the forest become <gasps> oh no Are you aware of the it was all a dream type theories around Majora's Mask? Uh, not really? Like, um, I remember joking about like Majora's Mask being like a fever dream of sorts, but like, I don't know about any specific theories. 
He was looking for his childhood home. Yeah, and then he got lost. He was- he got too far removed from his, uh, his home. He grew up too much. Okay, let's get this chest. Everybody stall those, no! Yeah, that- that was fine to have in a game that's E for everyone. <laughs> you had trouble turning off your wake-up alarm today. Because you're still sleeping. Oh, I, I totally understand that. Sometimes I'm too... I'm too good at turning off my wake-up alarm while I'm sleeping. And then I don't even remember it going off. We got a piece of heart. There are theories that that's why all the people are familiar. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that the different stories of different areas represent stages of grief. Oh, my gosh. I don't think we got to talk about the specific stages of grief correlated with each area, but I do remember uh, talking about like why all the people are familiar or like why the models are reused because like let me check this off East Hyrule Chessfield okay now let's go to Elden Bridge Ladder because I remember hearing this theory that your brain can't make like can't generate new faces so when you dream of people it's always like a person's face that you've seen before so that even like really matches with that theory of Majora's Mask with the familiar people <gasps> like I don't know how true that theory is about faces but like I think it's pretty interesting because like I think for people who dream like there's that experience of like dreaming about someone you don't talk to that much but then they're like a character in a specific dream or something you don't think it's true at all i don't know if i've really like known a new face in my dreams even though i dream very vividly stop it oh my gosh but i'm also really bad at like paying attention to faces in my day-to-day -day life because i'm not an eye contact person so, I don't know um, how well I'm an example of this. <laughs> okay, we gotta take this owl statue all the way to the other side of the bridge. I didn't notice this until um, like the opening sequence was playing before one of the streams recently, but now I, now I learned that we should do this. You feel like your brains are really able to make up faces? Yeah. That's fair. I'm just like, to what degree of like, detail, I guess. But I guess it, it might also scale or like matter with what degree of detail um, that person like has in their imagination and in their dreams, like the scale being like hyper-realistic to a Fantasia. Mashing all- mishmashing all the faces, yeah. You're unsure of the theory. Also, you like Termina being a real place. But the hero's shade, the canon name of the gulf. Gold wolf guy is certainly something. Hero's shade? Huh. Okay, hopefully no one else can reach us. Here, but we're gonna drop the owl statue right there so we can cross the gap. Golf wolf, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we're gonna go on top. There's a ladder over there, so I wonder if we're gonna go on top of this bridge thing. Wait. Oh, it's still like really high up. <laughs> I need to push it further. <laughs> Maybe the other bug is up there? Go. Uh, that looks kind of far, but... Nice, we made it. Someone's attacking us! Think about what happens to heroes after the end of the story. Like, it's a lot to think about. Uh, look what happens after. It's so- so much attack sounds. Yeah! 
Especially, I didn't, like, really... I didn't make the connection that there was Stalfos. Yay, another piece of heart. But... Yeah, getting lost in Lost Woods is, uh... A pretty... Dim fate. Okay, we got the Elden Bridge ladder owl statue thing. So now... I want to go to the Cave of Ordeals. And then we'll go bug and po hunting. So we'll, we'll do the cave of ordeals. I hope I hope we're prepared. We have two fairies. We should be fine. He had a child. Yeah. With who? <laughs> You're thinking about it now. Yeah. You like to think he ventured to the lost woods in his old age after a full life. Yeah. I feel like it I I would think like a uh, at least somewhat older and like trying to like revisit his childhood home but like yeah maybe at that point he aged so much that like he he lost his ability to like not succumb to the lost part of the lost woods and stuff the zelda games are about a long cycle but it's so f Far apart. It's so far apart over so much time that you can't do much to pass down knowledge to the next hero. Yeah. I liked uh, when we were meeting with this gold wolf person because they did emphasize that a lot that, like, that they had that regret in their life that they couldn't pass it down to the next hero. But it's like. I wonder if the heroes ever have any overlap, because if they get reincarnated, like, would that mean, like, there's there's no overlap of their lives? Like, the previous hero has to die before the next hero exists. Like, how, how would you pass down that knowledge? Would you just have to, like, pass it down through your community? More likely than Majora's Mask is die a dying dream if he's our direct ancestor. Yeah. This is so interesting now that we have, like, a handful of games that we can, like, draw connections between and try to place in positions relative to one another. Basically, Avatar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avatar, but also if there were two other avatars. <laughs> <laughs> that were also being reincarnated. Oh no. Holy crap! I really need a heart. So that we can have our, our strong spin. Even early on that was a thing in Zelda. Like in earlier Zeldas before... Ah! Like, I know that Skyward Sword, like, lays it out explicitly for us, like, how, um, how the whole... Like, cycle thing goes on, but, like, um... Skyward Sword is, like, pretty later in the series, huh? Like, in, in real-life chronological release. So, like... In what ways did they, like, show this reincarnating and, and cycles in, like, earlier games? When you play through the NES, SNES, GV, Zeldas, you should look out for the manuals. Oh, check out the manuals. Yeah! Oh yeah, I haven't... I don't think I looked through the Ocarina of Time manual before. I wonder where, where in the Zelda world we will end up next. Did I choose a specific game to play next? I don't remember. After this. I'm not sure. Hello. Can we have hearts, please? 
anyone. I wonder how far down we're gonna go. I didn't count, I guess. We'll see. A link to the past? Oh yeah. What system was that one on again? Yeah, I remember that one being next because like there's a... Uh... That's right. There's like a dependency where there's a game that I have to play A Link to the Past before playing the other game. I don't remember <laughs> the next one. <laughs> there's a new Zelda coming up where you're actually Zelda. Yeah! Did they say a release date for that one yet? I'm really looking forward to that, but I feel like the way that my schedule usually goes, I'm usually not playing games on release and that's fine with me. You don't think so? Okay. Yeah, like, I started Pikmin 4 last week, and it's about a year after release. SNES, I see. Yeah, Zelda 1, Link to the Past, which version of Link's Awakening? Oh yeah! Link Between Worlds. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of options. Um... Link to the Past is the next one, though. I remember now that Kimlon brought it up. Hi, we're back! We met this person. Um, but we have not gone further than this. Because we did not have the spinner yet. From this point on, you will have need of an ancient power that allows one to walk along a cliff without a single foothold. If you still wish to test your power, proceed further. Three or four games have you considered sequels? What? Huh. You won't spoil timeline stuffs. Okay. There's clash audible things at the top. Zelda 1 together tuning style. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Ah! Oh, there's so many rats here. Okay, wait. I need my claw shot. I wonder if they're attackable with spinner. Because... This this side of this room has spinning. But yeah, the tuning thing was really fun. And I would be down to play Zelda 1 specifically with looking at the manual and stuff. So if you were you or other people were down to do that as well, that, that could be fun. Um, yeah, I think it was on one of, like, our recent car rides or something. I was thinking again about how, like, with older video games, like, especially games that you play as a kid and, like, before the internet had all the answers and walkthroughs for you, like, a lot of games would just be left unbeaten because you would get stuck and then, like, you wouldn't figure out the way forward. And that's just, like, not really a thing that happens nowadays, except maybe people get bored of games and don't come back to them. You can also be a knower in second quest? What is second quest and third quest and fourth quest? This Gulix is huge! I mean, uh, Chuchi. Gulix is from Pikmin. What are those? Sh should I grab this? I have uh, one empty bottle and I have another purple chew jolly. <gasps> no! Okay, I was not. I was being, being too de indecisive, so I couldn't grab it. But we do have purple chew jelly. I could try it. Let me try this purple chew jelly. Let's see what happens to us. Oh, <laughs> we lost one heart. The gamble. We took the gamble. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's the frog guy. Uh, I don't remember how to fight you. Do we have to claw shot you out? Okay. Because I remember meeting them in the water temple, so 
We got the claw shot in the water temple. One of the places where yellow and blue slimes can spawn together is in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's- well, we can try to make a green slimy. Can't believe no one's dropping hearts. I think that's on purpose. Maybe the next fairy can heal us. Second quest is a different and harder version of the NES version. After you beat the first quest, I see. Are those like official things or are they like uh, fan things that exist? You could look up the exact floor. Uh, sure. Just so we know it's coming up. I guess you'd have to look at like what the enemies are before like what the enemies are on the floor previous because I don't really have another way of telling what floor we're on. Wait. Minimap? I don't know. It doesn't say. It also still says 8 out of 11 pose. I hope I hope we meet them in here. Not to let red or purple slime stick around. Okay, yeah, because we have to get the blue and yellow ones together. Those are all official. I see, I see. Huh, I hadn't heard of those before. And yeah, feel free to let me know, sweet, uh, when, when you're approaching the slimy room. So many minions. Yeah, they're definitely not dropping hearts on purpose. How rude. Well, we're getting a bunch of rupees for a roll of gold, so. It's dark in here. Keys. And rats. This really is a cave of ordeals. They named it very aptly. Rat. I can't even see them. It's so dark in here. Growing up on NES games, you just didn't think of beating games until Mario 3 with siblings. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's still a rat. Yeah, I feel like... Um, always having the answers or like always having like access to the answers whether it's a walkthrough on youtube or like a walkthrough article or just like a friend who knows the game it's just like something that's a little bit taken for granted now like it we didn't always have the answers before there's a poll <laughs> The green slime thing is entirely pointless. It's just a fun trivia. Yeah, it's okay. I like fun trivia. Oh my god! There's so many people here. Uh. Uh. Can I please finish them? Okay. No. It didn't work out. That's fine. This is fine. Ow! I would like to get the postal. There we go. A lot of games weren't, weren't really meant to be beaten. Ah, yeah, true. Like, and more like smaller scale replayable games. I think like the first game, when is the first game I really remember beating? Did I beat Super Mario Sunshine as a kid? I feel like I did with the help of like, game facts, <laughs> but it was like only text, there were no images. It was just like a plain text walkthrough guide. I guess I'm a wolfie now. Ah. Uh. They move too much for our attack like this. Come back! 
heck? Okay, we'll, we'll just arrow them. I have not been collecting all the rupees, but I think it's okay. Room after this one is a chew room. Okay. Only let a few appear at once. Uh, okay. I don't know how I can do that. Oh, there's a rare chew over there. I'll try to stay on like one side of the room. There's so many of them. Oh my god. I think the yellow one is going to get eaten. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I didn't realize there would be this many! <laughs> okay, I think I failed at it. No, you're, you're good, sweet. Thanks for... Thanks for the heads up. But yeah, I don't... I didn't get it. This room is amazing, though. I love it. I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know, six chew total. And I just have to keep the, the yellow and blue ones alive. But no, there were like... <laughs> there were like 60 of them. Uh, I will take some funny purple goo. I will do it. Um, and we'll, we'll try to... We'll taste it. To see if it'll fill up our hearts or not. Only place where yellow and blue chews appear together? Huh. Did anything even happen? It looked like our hearts didn't change. I'm just trying to get hearts. Oh, minus one. Thank you. That was the same as our last roll. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> okay. Maybe... If I if I defeat them like one at a time, I can I can keep drinking the purple goo. Nice. That was like I don't know. I probably took damage. Ah, they're gonna dry up. <laughs> Another plus one. This is so funny. <laughs> so does it? Does the green one give you green chew jelly if you scoop it? Does it do anything specifically? We're getting more plus one. Funny chew moment with save states, but it doesn't work on GameCube. They make purple. Aw, oh, darn. Oh, and wow. A special green chew. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it does literally nothing. Okay. Well, I, uh... <laughs> well, that last roll was really bad. <laughs> Our fairy is gonna have to save us now. Good thing we have two fairies. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. We're... <laughs> this is... This is fine. This is fine. Great fairy, please heal us. <laughs> Holy crap. I thought we were gonna die. We lost like 10 hearts. Or 12 or something. I am impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Faron Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice. If you want to give up the fight for now and re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. She's not gonna heal us. This is so sad. <gasps> Angry Zelda stamp. <laughs> That's a good stamp. Oh my god. Who is that? Okay, that's not a that's not a chew. Okay. Well, Looks like our fairy will actually have to save us here. Um, so we'll just we'll just take that as it is, and let me equip the ball and chain since that's what we need next. Why are great fairies so naked all the time? They're chilling in their fountain. <laughs> 
If you had your own fountain, wouldn't you be chilling naked all the time? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Open up, please. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's hot in the summer. I would probably wear less clothes if I could. Thanks, fairy. Uh, so, would it have been better if I used the fairy? No. It will restore eight hearts if you use it. I thought they fill up all of our hearts. This is this is rough. This is rough. Why are we having trouble moving? Why are we walking like this? Link, what's going on? <laughs> You're not wearing your iron boots, Link. What what's wrong? Why is he walking like that? I don't know. <laughs> Did something happen to us? Is it cold in here? Hmm, okay. I don't know what's happening. Come back here, rat. Side effects of chew jelly? No way. <laughs> is this real? <laughs> green chew jelly trivia. Wait, yeah, wait, what happens with the green chew jelly? There's still someone in here. Hmm? Huh? Oh no, are there invisible rats on my leg? <laughs> <laughs> ah, get them off of me! <laughs> no! <laughs> I forgot about that until there was no more rats in the room. No, there's something here. What could it be? Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, world. I should check for dig spots more often. On the back of the Wii box, there's an image of a magic meter. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about green uh, for magic meter in Oot. That would be a good future dream check. Oh my gosh, little guys. We, we met these little guys in uh, one of the, I think the desert temple. In that puzzle room that we accidentally solved. Okay, it doesn't look like... I'm just gonna be a wolf now for a little bit. Doesn't look like there's any dig spots in there. Who is that? Aww. What the heck? Who are these people? I don't know if I know them. Let's, uh... Okay, I think we can use ball and chain to defeat them. I was gonna say we should equip bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. Can't. Does this just defeat you? Oh, nice. It does damage when it's coming back to us as well. That's good. On the GameCube version, Green Slimies don't exist, but on the Wii they do. I and mean, when you pick it up, you get a blank text box. Yeah, they were like laying down, chilling in here. They were all buried together and we disturbed them. Wait, do you, do you get a blank text box in this game too? Whoa! Oh, I see. Can we knock these down with ball and chain? I wonder. Uh, I don't know. Last time we needed like a boar to knock those down. Do I even remember what a shield is? I don't. <laughs> I don't know what a shield is. Uh, I would just like to know. I don't think, 
I feel like it's unlikely that I'll find a, a green shoe. Unless we specifically go back here for it. You put green shoe jelly in your bottle. It doesn't look all that tasty. Uh. Blank text box sounds so cursed in the Wii version. That's like a my game is haunted moment. Oof. Shield attack. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. That was very crunchy. I should have checked the previous room for uh dig spots. You want to know about more moments like that in games? Yeah, it feels similar to like... Huh? It feels similar to seeing like uh, errors on like menu screens and stuff like we're talking about. <laughs> Someone's flying up towards us. That was scary. Wow, we're really easily filling up on rupees in, down here. But, uh, I have to be careful because we actually only have, like, 18 hearts left. Including the, um, the fairy in a bottle that I have. Oh, I could have done a finishing attack. I didn't really realize. Dun -dun -dun. But yeah, I gotta be careful. I don't even know how much further we have to go. Uh, how caught up are we on, on items? We need the ball and chain to proceed. I don't know, we might almost be towards the end. Holy crap! Okay, wow, we got rid of both of the dino foils real quick. I'm gonna get attacked in the back. I didn't get to use the spin attack like this whole time since uh, we didn't get hearts. We'll check for a dig spot again. I don't know how often they appear, but three hearts was a big drop from the last dig spot, so. Sure, I'll go in as a wolfie. I love that attack so much. Um, uh, I need to get rid of those. <laughs> oh, freak. They live again. Okay, yeah, it's much better to just ball and chain those guys. Yeah. I don't know what sport I'm playing right now. <laughs> Ball and stick sport of some sort. Nothing here for us. Olympic Games, yeah. Hello. I like these fairy wings. They're so um, rainbowy and flowy. I'm impressed that you made it this far. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Elden Spring. Are we missing a spring? I think it's just three, right? So. That might be all of them. 
From this point on, oh wait, you will have need of the power that allows one to become master of lifeless statues. If you want to give up the fight for now and re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. No! Oh my gosh, we have to keep going. Uh, I will continue to be careful. If Mario goes to Sonic to the Olympic Games, then who does Link go with? Samus? Happy Midna stamp! <laughs> Midna! She looks funny there. She looks like she's scheming. All right, I'm doing lots of retransforming because we need to check for dig spots. Uh. Ooh. Okay. There are bemos down there. I don't know if I can get those in advance. I don't want to deal with those. Is that? Oh, no, that's an owl statue. Okay. We got most of the bemos. Get rid of these keys now. Uh, oh my god! Ah! I didn't think it would see me from that far. Is that everything? What does this mean? We have to move these out. Oh, sorry, owl statues. We have to move these owl statues somehow. Maybe they will attack the wall for us. I don't know. Or they st they're standing on something. Never mind. I was just gonna try to. Whoa! The shadows are it's so happening. Why are the shadows doing that? Is it because the glowy light that I have? I guess so. Whoa. They're so moving around. Okay, lava slugs. I have a hundred arrows to defeat you in advance. Can I have a giant hammer, friend? Oh, it's so fiery down here. Oh, frick. No, there's so much going on. How did I not take damage? Okay, now I'm taking damage. It seems kind of hard to aim upwards. Oh, jump out of the way. That's not who I want to target. I'm trying to get behind this Dodongo. We have to use the ancient skills passed on to us by our ancestor. Get beamed! Hello, Beam Queen Soul and Sky. Welcome in, y'all. Nice to see you. Get beamed. I'm getting beamed. I'm getting very beamed. We almost got beamed by Beamos. Uh, a room back. We're kind of doing a gauntlet thing right now. With, like... Lots of floors and lots of enemies. <laughs> I, I'm kind of chilling. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. Ah! 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 They didn't do that to me last time. Oh my god! I'm I'm getting screamed at. Did I just get lucky last time? I guess. But yeah, welcome in! We're doing a sort of gauntlet where we have to go through a bunch of different enemies uh, on a bunch of different floors. And I'm actually like running out of HP. They don't give us very much HP in here. And I have one more fairy which will give me eight hearts. So I'm a little concerned, but we're doing our best. I hope you had a fun stream. You were practicing goal games, I think it was, in Amazing Mirror. Yeah, welcome in. We're, we're doing a lot of uh, 
collectathoning for 100%ing this game right now, basically, and this gauntlet is part of that. Invisible rat room. Okay. This is fine. Oh! There's more, uh. More choo choo. Oof, <laughs> wait. We need to. We need to take out our. Okay. I can be human and attack the, the invisible rats, I think. Right. I think. I should. I don't know, actually. Maybe not. How do we get them off of me? There we go. I'm trying to save the purple for our gambling on hearts. Ben, I need to get rid of all these rats first. Oh, dig spot. One heart, I'll take it. Oh my god, it's huge. Okay. Learning all gold games as a challenge redeem. I see, I see. And continues Spyro 3. Oh, nice. Does Spyro 3 have a subtitle of any sort? I don't know if I've played it or not in the past. Um, so the thing about these purple goo... You didn't think I drink a purple again after last time? I need hearts. Hi, Toe. So for everyone who came in with the raid... Oh, we're getting jumped over. And is unfamiliar with the purple chew jelly. It says who knows what'll happen if you drink it. Uh, basically, it'll give us a random amount of hearts or take away a random amount of hearts. So we're gonna take the gamble because we only have like one fairy left, which is eight hearts. Um, but I don't know how much further we have to go. Year of the Dragon. Oh, okay, I think I did play that one as a kid. We got a plus one heart. We got another plus one heart. Um, yeah, the last time we drank a purple goo several floors above, uh, we got like minus 12 hearts. We got down to one quarter of a heart remaining. And then I thought the fairy might heal us, but the great fairy did not heal us. She just spawned fairies in the overworld, which is, we are not in the overworld. The Grimace Shake? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, last meme cycle. I wasn't very active during that meme cycle, I've got to admit. We're getting quite a few plus ones. I should be careful not to be losing hearts while fighting these guys though. That would be kind of a pointless loss. Okay, I wonder how many left there are. Ow, what did I just- what did I just tell myself? Minus one? Oh, poor Link! I wonder what different flavors are going on in these purple goo. Scoop. I didn't draw the bean sippa with Grimace Shake for trending engagements, no. <laughs> I missed out on the engagements. Just kidding. You remember Grimace Shake? Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't very active during Grimace Shake. Maybe it was while the kittens were keeping me really busy. The foster kittens. Got a plus one. Minus one. <laughs> I should have uh, noted like what number of hearts we started at. Uh, before we started drinking all this purple goo. If this tastes anything like grape, artificial grape, then I would really dislike it. What the exact odds for each drink outcome are. Yeah, I wonder too, because it looks like plus one, minus one are pretty common, but <laughs> are like freaking minus 12. I don't know what happened there. Ah! Well, it can't get any worse than this. Link! <laughs> It can't kill you! We don't even know if it was like a minus 12 earlier or like a minus more than that. 
Yeah, apparently it can't kill you. So now we get to beep, beep, beep. Oh, that's that's nice. Can I swing this down towards them? <laughs> okay, I tried. Okay, our fairy healed us. That is our last heal that we have. Oh my gosh, I need to get out of here. We need to be... Does it reach the walls? This is not good. We have to be really careful here. Okay, we got all those keys. I'm gonna wait for this guy to do some breath and then attack on the next cycle. Oh, it becomes mini guys. These guys are so cute, the little ones. Okay. Now we get serious, yeah. Now we really don't have any fairies left. There are no dig spots in this room. We have to, we have like another Poe left. I don't even remember how to use my shield. <laughs> how do I use my shield? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's ZL. Oh my god, I thought it was ZR. I don't know what's happening. Is it ZL? No, it's ZL and ZR. No, wait. I don't know. I literally don't know. Let's see if I can line some of them up. Ow. I was not far enough away. I have to be more careful than this. Maybe I can attack them with uh, arrows. Stun them. I have to watch out for the spears though. Oh my god. What are we doing? How much further do we have to go? Those enemies did cause me pain in the ice temple or Yato Ineta's house. All right, who is next? Leavers. Ow. Okay, I was like, are they even gonna get close enough to me? spots here I remember we saw one like pretty close to the wall um, a few rooms ago so I don't want to neglect to check the walls oh man another freezy guy oh two freezy guys I'm going to assume that bombs don't work on them um what do we do here? Maybe the bombs can take out some of the smaller enemies? I don't know. That didn't seem to have a, much of an effect. Ow, I'm so frozen. Ugh, the small keys even freezes, which sucks. This is no good. Snow good. Holy crap, who's spearing me from over there? I don't think I can kill them unless I use and I unless I use the ball and chain. I think the ball and chain is the only way. Ow! Link, get up! I can't see. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Oh no! It's so over. How is the range on these... the sauruses? <laughs> I'm gonna cry.
Okay, we gotta get out of the way here. But it's the middle of summer. Yeah, this this would probably be refreshing if uh if I had more hearts to spare. Holy crap. I have to be We just have to do the cycles well, I guess. Use this side of the room and then get the other side. Okay. Now I feel more freed up. Maybe I should have prioritized defeating one of these big guys first. That was very rough. Though I don't know how I would have dealt with these smaller guys while we were being speared! What was the name of those tall ice guys? The... They were also a foes of some sort, right? They're very cool, but I think they're like one of the most difficult enemies for me to fight. Chilfos. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, they're cool. No pun intended. Their design is very sharp. Hello. Knights. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't have much choice. Does this work on you, sir? <laughs> Do you get hurt by bombs? You don't look like you get hurt by bombs. Uh, what about arrows? <laughs> I feel very, very encroached upon right now. I'm so scared. Can they attack each other, please? Hi, Story! Thank you for the raid! Okay, I have two and a half hearts just to keep track. Hello, Guildmaster Senna! Welcome in. We are currently, um... in a gauntlet, and we're on our last two and a half hearts. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Thank you for the 33 month sub story! I keep throwing these bombs at them as if they're gonna do anything, but I don't think they're doing anything. I think I have to shield attack them. Oh my god! Holy crap! Okay, that's a lot of damage! They did like a, a whole heart of damage with one of their swings. But yes, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it very much. Oh, it's over! It's so over! Oh no! I can't take it! Oh. I... I know, I, I keep throwing the bombs. I wish I could separate them somehow. <laughs> no! Okay, well, we're gonna try again. Somehow. We, we gotta pick up some fairies. We try. Where, do, where is it gonna spawn us? You ended on that part of Paper Mario. You were doing a gauntlet as well. Oh man. We have one more Poe to get and it must be in there. Okay. Well. I thought we were walking slowly again and I thought like... We had invisible rats on us again. Let's check out what happened at the old Malo Mart. Uh, just because I didn't check on it yet. Yeah, are you doing the pit in Super Paper Mario? I didn't remember that there was a pit in that game. Oh, maybe I vaguely remember it now. I think that's the pit that I'm most uh, familiar with, actually. Uh, Malo Mart here. But yeah, let's let's restock. We need to buy arrows and bombs and stuff. Oh, there was another gauntlet. Oh, okay. I don't remember it. Oh, how? Are, oh, that's right. Malo hired 
the other guy who used to work at the fancy shop and that they run the Mall Omar in Castletown. So these guys get to stay here. I wonder if this red red potion is better than fairy. Replenishes your life energy. If it restores all of our life energy, then that's better than an eight heart fairy. Yes. I want arrows. Um, until we have a hundred. Our potion is 12 hearts. Let's... Okay, I need one more bundle of arrows. Welcome to the Motlo Mart flagship store, brother. We are currently holding a grand opening sale at our brand new store in Hyrule Castle Town. Come one, come all. You will buy it now if you are smart at Malo Mart. I was singing this Malo Mart background song earlier and I got it stuck in Kim Lan's head. Yeah, no worries, Starry. Together we can do anything. You will buy it now if you are smart at Malo Mart. I'm trying to talk to Malo here. <gasps> okay. Let's see. Let's buy one red potion. No, it's only eight hearts, too! Alright, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, check out the Mala Martin Castle Town. Maybe they have... Maybe they have blue potion or something. Ah, we're getting so squawked at. Do I need more bombs? I don't think the bombs really helped us. We need, uh, heart replenishing. Uh, I wonder if Yeto would let us have more soup <laughs> if if we go there. Where are the rare chews? Yeah, true. We could go get rare chews. Oh, and then they give us strength for like three seconds as well. There, I know there's one on the way up to to Death Mountain. Soup. Does soup make us strong for a second, or is it only the rare chews? Maybe it's only the rare shoes. But yeah, let's go to Molo Mart. And then I'll look for rare shoes. That's a good idea. I only remember one. I'm trying to remember any other rare shoes. I guess I have a second chance at the green shoe, but that seems really difficult. But uh, we technically do have another chance. Where am I going? I forgot. Oh, Malamart. But yeah, we're gonna do gauntlet attempt number two since we just lost. We lost like almost towards the end. The enemies were getting very- this is not Malamart. The enemies were getting very difficult. Um, and we only had one more Poe hidden somewhere in there. They have blue potion here. Let's buy some. Let's see what it is. <laughs> the dance! A restorative elixir recommended for those who do not feel 100%. Do they still have the magic... They don't have the description for the magic armor. Let's buy the blue potion. Replenish all of your hearts. Okay. I will take a blue potion. Um... In fact, I think I'll take three and we'll get a red potion to fill up the rest of our hearts. And then I'll go get the rare chew. I don't know where other rare chew are. So I only know one. Does anyone else remember where rare chew are? Uh. Also, I guess there was a rare chew in the gauntlet area, but it got swallowed by a purple chew. So we couldn't actually grab it. Someone will see me! Who's here? Okay. The one on the mountain trail? Okay, that's the one I'm thinking of.
I don't know what other rare chew are. Where other rare chew are. But pl uh, viable blue potion is, is pretty good. Hey, Nemo. Nemo's chilling here. Is this far enough away that we can warp? Um, I don't think the giant tree above Lake Hylia has a rare chew. I think that has the other two. I don't remember a rare chew there. What is our pose status here? We have three out of eight pose. What? Where are the pose? <laughs> Where are the worlds? Three out of eight? Is there, <laughs> is there another cave of ordeals anyone wants to tell me about? <laughs> Just kidding. The, the DLC is much later, isn't it? Uh... Or we'll play it later. Oh man. Okay. I believe it's up here. I also want to see if there's a... A Poe here. It says there's a Poe. Oh frick, okay. Let's look for the Poe first while it's nighttime. I don't want to lose it. What? I don't see a Poe up here. I thought it was going to be somewhere up here. Is that a go-toable place? Oh, here it is. Oh, that's really far. Oh, I don't want to fall off. No! Oh my god, get up! That was so dramatic. Okay, now we're halfway up on Pose. All this talk of Pose reminds you of Tears of the Kingdom comic. And Poe statue in Lookout Landing. Oh, huh. I don't know anything about Tears of the Kingdom still. It's sitting on the shelf behind me. I haven't played it yet. Oh! Look how stairs-like this is right here. What? I didn't know this exists. So stairs. It gives you clumps of mud. Sometimes I eat them. No, that place looks like such a place you could go to. Yeah, I don't think... Not that I know of. VT has played it, but she's not here, I think. Are you a rare Poe? I mean, not a Poe. Are you a rare Chew? You didn't look very shiny. It's red! Why is it red? Can I only get them once? What happened to them? What? No. You think it's random? Oh man, they're like shiny Pokemon maybe. I saw that one, I feel like I saw that one glow more than once though cause I thought it was, I mistook it for a bug before. Or was, or are there bugs here? I'm gonna take a good look and look for bugs. I don't know. I think it was. I think I looked at the Poe. I haven't seen bugs here. I'm just like, where's that last pair of bugs? Where could they be? Uh, okay. What I'm actually gonna do is go down to Kakariko Village. I think there is a Poe in Kakariko Village that we have not gotten. So that should account for one of them. Uh, 
But yeah, I guess I'd rather have blue blue chew jelly than uh, have fairies. Like, fairies only revive us eight hearts. We just have to pay attention and use the blue chew jelly. Yeah. Yes, yes. Tell the ADHD. -er. You just have to pay attention. We got this. We have to use it before we die. Because it doesn't revive us. So there is a Poe here. It's just that it's daytime. Okay, I know there's a bunch of chew in the field over here, so we can check this field if there's chew. Uh, and then maybe we can go back to the cave over deals. I want a rare chew because it gives us the... It gives us the three second strength buff. There is a yellow one, I think it's yellow. It's not sparkly though. I think they have to be sparkly. Yellow chew jelly. Can I just... I can't dump this out, so I have to refill my lantern. There we go. Uh... You've been playing the heck out of Persona 5 Royal. Oh, nice. I'm a bit itchy to play an RPG. But I'm also itchy to draw and do tons of other stuff, so I'm itchy to do too many things. I've never noticed how big and wide this this section of the map is. Anyways. So if it's random. Then I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should just buy. I should just buy one more then. Uh I'll just buy one more blue. Just clone myself, yeah! I- I used to be very insistent that I would fight the heck out of my clone. But I think that I'm at a point in my life where I could be collaborative with my clone now. We could do projects and stuff. We wouldn't- we wouldn't have to fight. <laughs> It used to be like such a thing that whenever the topic of clones came up, I'd be like, would you fight your clone? I would fight my clone. Okay, am I ready to do this? I have to... We're, we're going in with much more heals. That... <laughs> Why do I always go to this... <laughs> this empty place? We're gonna go in with much more um, heals than I did last time, so I'm gonna hope this goes well. Bye. 50 rupees. Blue potion. Alright, and now all our hearts are up. Hopefully much less purple chew. <laughs> yeah, maybe the most hearts I took damage of in that whole thing. Maybe it was purple chew. <laughs> it's likely. It could have happened. Uh, I need to find a nice quiet place to teleport now. Hello? What about over here? Do you think there was people standing guard? I wonder what happened to the guards. Let's go back. If you had a clone, your clone would get antsy and bored and probably look for a job. Since you can't sit still for long, I see ya. Yeah, I'd probably just try to like divide up work on like some art projects and then like... Do 
like try to split up stuff that requires our eyes. Like I feel like I can split up like audio channel wise sometimes like listen to a stream and listen to music and draw but like I only have one pair of eyes so I can't like draw and play a video game at the same time. So I'd probably try to split up like visual tasks and such. I'm I'm habitually checking every room for dig spots, but maybe I don't need to if uh if we're full health so far. I do want to try uh, gosh, actually keys are really hard to fight. Dang it. I was going to say I want to try to use um our spin attack while we can, but then I just lost it. Keys are kind of like weirdly above us. I guess uh, I have to pay attention and like we have this upward slash, vertical slash if I do a neutral B attack, but then if I lean forward, I'm doing a jab. But then if I like hold B a little bit, we do like diagonal. I don't know. Now I'm gonna go back to checking for dig spots. One clone is a streamer, one is the artist. And you tag each other out from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. If there were clo if if I had a clone, we would be talking and singing way too much. Like I sing and talk to the cats so much, but like if there were a clone of me, it would never. There would never be peace and quiet. What should we equip? Okay, this is probably fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wonder where the secret rats are. Ah! I think this one's in the ground. Then who would play what games? Yeah. I wonder. Yay, we got our hearts back. What if they like what if there's like two bugs chilling at the very bottom of this area? Okay, wait. Okay, I've officially used it. <laughs> our strong spin attack. Would there be two playthroughs of Pikmin 4 going? Oh <gasps> what if I did co-op mode of every game? With my clone. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wasn't prepared to be that close to a spider. I don't know. I don't know. Is it the jab that's good on them? I don't know. They're very armored from the top. Okay, checking. For dig spots. Oh! Okay, arrows. Uh, I don't know how to approach these guys actually. Use my shield, I guess. <laughs> There's a door there, you can't get away. <laughs> Why am I missing? Link! Not here. We'll use our arrows on these guys. I gotta learn how to fight keys better. So I'm hoping that there's some fire keys in this room for us to practice on. Yeah. Nope, those are just more slugs. Okay. But yeah, so the next time I fight Keys, I'm gonna try to be using our neutral attack so that it's more upward of a slash. 
I need to keep that in mind. Uh, here we are, I guess. There we go. Okay. I feel like they're usually hard to target. So that, that seems to help. Oops. Oops. Yeah. I kept missing the keys before because I was jabbing at them. But the jab is too low. Your Australian friend sent you a box of goodies and there was mints and minties. It turns out it's mint taffy. I saw a taffy in a grocery store today. I'm gonna unequip this blue jelly so I don't use it. I saw taffy in a grocery store today and I was tempted to get some. I like taffy. I don't usually get it. So. Nothing. It's so, it's so weird that like, um, even that if you're using your wolf senses and there's nothing there, it feels like there's sparkling sounds all around you. So it, it, it just feels like there's something there, but I don't think there is. Oh, someone's behind us. That's not nice. They really put those archers like where we couldn't see them in advance. Okay, I don't see any dig spots. I think this is a fairy. Is there any point to talking to them if I already met them? I'm not sure. Maybe not. They like taffy when it's good taffy, like the small batch of stuff made in mom and pop shop. How do you tell the difference? Like, besides going to, like, a small shop itself. I don't think we need to talk to them. If, uh, we already... Oh, wait, no, we do, because they need to open the door for us. <laughs> Oops. Oh, God. Oh my gosh! I don't know what to do! It's too busy in here. I guess I could just start by taking off the armors. There we go. I think they still do damage when they're ramming those, so I have to be careful. Ow! Usually dry and overly sweet. I see. But like, is there a way to tell, like, based on the, um, like, the wrapping or the packaging or, like, uh, is there, like, a big name taffy brand that I should look for or not look for? <laughs> like, I don't know if you know, uh, but I'll look next time and see. Okay. I wonder if the spinner would have helped us there. Uh, why is this room ominously empty? Oh, hi! Luckily, all my bottles are full, so I won't be tempted to, to drink the silly juice. Or else I would, probably. They're too good at jumping at me. I don't know if I checked the previous room for digging. That's fine. Huh? Oh. I don't know why the door took so long. Bean sip. Yeah, bean sipping. The choo-choo jelly. 
I, actually, I love how Choo Choo Jelly is depicted in, in like so many Zelda games. It always looks like something I want to eat. Or, or it's just a bottle item, which is... I just like the items you can hold in bottles because I, I love containers, so I love the bottles. We only get four bottles in this game. No digging. I'm waiting for the invisible rats. I don't want them to catch me off guard again. It must be this room. I don't know. I don't actually know. I just think it's this room because it was after the purple... <laughs> the after the purple blue. Okay. okay, it wasn't this room. Oh! Just a hundred rupees in the ground. What? Yes, we need some wolf time. Oh, how are you still alive? Oh my gosh, the camera just did like a freaking 360. <laughs> Why did it do that? Okay, nothing here. I see rats! Hmm. I wonder if Wolf Us can attack elemental keys or if it or if it hurts. Does anyone know the answer? No. We had to grab them so much. I guess the worst element is ice just because it, it can freeze you in place. What is down there? Oh. Yeah, I'll be a wolf for this too. This attack with Midna is so powerful. It's like way stronger than any of our other attacks. It must just be because Midna is so strong. I can't see. Oh, it's Weavers. Weavers are hard to get with the wolf. Uh, it seemed like they interrupt our attack quite a lot. <gasps> okay! Chew, jelly! How am I gonna do this? <laughs> what? No, the rare chew got eaten! That's so sad to watch. No, they're too powerful. They're growing too much in size. Uh, do you know if... Uh, do you know if Wolf Link can attack the elemental keys or if he gets damaged by them? Uh, like the fire and ice keys. Because I'm not sure what to think. Oh my gosh, the little, uh, the static effect, or like the electric effect, the orange electric effect on the giant, <laughs> the giant choo-choo, oh my gosh, you don't remember, okay. We'll see, maybe we're doing okay enough that we can, we can test it out. Hello? Oh. 
Oh, it had to wait for the juice to dry up. It wasn't technically defeated until until then. Hi. Please open the door for us. Did we transform into a human? I heard a transform sound. Yeah. Huh. The fairies don't want to talk to us as a twilight being. Okay, let's try it here because there's ice keys. Cold keys. Huh, looks like he can attack them. Uh. I don't know, I have trouble fighting the keys as, as regular Link. <laughs> this going as Wolf Link might be might be worth it. When we fight more icy keys. Here's the invisible rat room. Ah. I don't know how to do the spin attack. Okay, I just have to like charge my circle. Not that much. If I charge it too much, then Minna does the big attack. I want this. Thank you. Hello? Oh, they're on me! <laughs> I, was, I was looking for them. <laughs> I don't know how long they were on my shoulder there. I don't know who's next. Oh. This attack is so satisfying. Why didn't Minden tell us about it until we game over? Why did she do that? At the very beginning of the game. Okay. I didn't realize that these were Gibdo and that they yell at us. Somehow that didn't happen the first time we fought them. Uh, so... I don't know. I'll have to be more careful about that. At least this room is just them. They don't dance like the, the Majora's Mask Gibdo, unfortunately. Cool! Stop it! This really reminds me of like the uh, Skyward Sword towards the final boss when we were fighting so many mobs of guys. Oh wait, I try- OH! What? I tried that last time. I feel like it didn't work last time. What? I'm surprised. What's next? I'm scared. We need to use the ball and chain again. Probably. Be fast. Nice. No digging spot here. Uh, spiders. Just cut the rope. And meet them down here. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Punch. Nice to see you. Welcome in. We are doing a uh, many floors gauntlet of sorts. 
<laughs> so we're f we're just fighting a bunch of enemies, and it's just gonna get harder and harder. Uh, this is our second attempt. The first time we died, because we did have enough heals, and I died. But now we are in here with four blue chew jelly, which restores all of our hearts, and we haven't used one yet. Excuse me. I should be pretty careful though, because. It's gonna get difficult, and, um... The blue chew jelly don't automatically revive us the same way that, like, fairies do. Thank you for the good luck! I hope you've been having a good week so far. My week's been kind of silly so far. <laughs> like, my sleep schedule is just, like, all over the place. But I guess I have plans tomorrow in the daytime, so I have to be awake in the daytime. Little Loaf has a play date with uh, one of my college friends and her kitten, so I'm excited. Uh, was it last? Last week, Little Loaf had a play date with uh, Chowder. We visited Chowder. Okay, we'll be human again. It would be nice if he, uh, can get like used to traveling and stuff. So I'm hoping it goes well for Loaf. Put away the <laughs> It's so scary that we move slowly while holding the ball and chain, so like Oh So I have to put it away. Kitten playdate sounds so amazing, yeah. Uh, I feel like Chowder, since he knew this house before, when he came over here, he like adjusted really well to to being in this space again. Uh, when we visited Chowder at um, Kimlon's sister's place, Little Loaf had never been there before, so it took him like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour to adjust, which is like pretty fast. I guess he knew Chowder, so he had comfort in that. And then they played for like two or three hours straight. Yeah, we drove Little Loaf to Chowder last week. Okay, this is the checkpoint we reached last time. It's not so much a checkpoint in the sense that you get warped back here if you lose. It's a checkpoint as in, if you want to leave now, you can leave. <laughs> so we are, we're now at the part where it, like, it gets significantly harder. Time to be careful. Uh, so many keys. Yeah, there's, there's Beamos below us as well. I wonder if I can get them from here. That looks like a tough angle. Let's get down there. <laughs> but yeah, I like... Um, I feel like it's possible to help a cat get better at traveling just by like helping them practice being in the car and stuff so that vet trips and I don't know if they want to go somewhere for a bit or like if you want to take them to the park or something it would be less stressful for them so since we've had Loaf since he was small and like we have him now like I want to try to make it so that he's used to a little bit of travel Nemo is not used to travel. But he has traveled a lot. Nemo moved with us a lot last year. Yeah, the fairy theme is really nice. I wonder if we'll see it again. Uh, Cause I didn't get further than this last time. It's busy in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if this can reach up. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, that didn't really work very well. I need to get rid of all these burning skulls first. Are they just like keys wearing skulls? I thought they were a completely different enemy, but now I don't know. They look like they could just be keys wearing the skulls. I also don't know. Oh, the. I don't know if I took the last room for digging. Bubbles! Oh, yeah! I forgot they were called bubbles. I remember the term bubbles. You're on the page listing all the enemies. I'm wondering, like, when I should drink the potion. Uh, I think definitely when we get into the ice room, I should consider drinking a potion. Uh, we might be okay right now. It says bubble. Okay. I remember bubble from uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, Forest Temple and Fire Temple. Bubble. And the big bubble uh, in the bottom of the well. Okay. Is this the ice room? Is this room? Oh, it's more invisible rats? Why does this keep happening to us? Invisible rats and goo! Ow! I will drink a potion after this. Holy crap! And then I can take a purple potion with us, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's huge! It's huge! And there's rats on me! This is so scary. Should I take a- Should I take a purple with me? I hope we don't have to- have to use it. Ah! I guess I. Oh, uh, frick. Yeah. Uh, 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 I have to be fast enough to take it. Okay, let's use it. <laughs> it heals all of our hearts. How beautiful. Okay. Let's scoop this. A secret tool that will help us later. Uh, and let's unequip that because I don't want to use it by accident. No dig spot. Oh wait, there is one over here. One heart. <laughs> I remember this one. Okay, here we are. An ice room. Um... <laughs> I'm scared. Ah, uh, get away from me. Let's prioritize not getting frozen. How about that? Oh, frick! No, I, I didn't have them Z targeted or something. That's okay. We did pretty well, otherwise. Let's check for dig spots. Okay, so this next... Is this one with two of them? Or maybe it's the ice spear guys first, alone. Yeah. I don't think there's any other way to fight them. Like, wait. Oh, I can fight them with my sword. Okay. I feel like close combat is actually pretty good because... Whew, the ball and chain is pretty slow to take out and their spears are really fast. So 
I might have a better time if I rush them like this. We'll save the ball and chain for like... Oops. The big... The big ice enemy with the frost breath. And, uh... I can use my shield. Against a... Against the chill force. 1,000 rupees, yeah, whoa. He filled up. <laughs> Get away from me! Leavers. At least they didn't... I don't want to say this just in case they do it. But like, at least they didn't put chill force and leavers in the same room. I feel like that would be... Not very nice. Okay, this room. I think I want to stay on one side of the room instead of trapping myself in the range of both of the ice breath guys. I wonder if it's possible. Ugh. Oh, frick. I got speared. They're parrying me! No! I rolled into the ice breath. Uh, okay. Unfreeze, Link! Unfreeze! Oh. Okay. Let's get rid of these chill foes. I love this attack, where you, like, go to the back of the enemy. It's so fun. Hello? Sorry about that. Uh... We had an internet blip. We didn't get our OBS freeze today, but I guess we got an internet blip high. Yeah! You missed me take out all the chillfos, dang. Um... I want to hear about your speculation, sweet. What is your speculation? Is it like a strategy speculation? Either way, I'm curious. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry about internet blip. Um... Is that where we died last time? No, I died at these knights last time. Okay. I'm not sure how to separate out these knights, so we're just gonna have to try to try to use our skills on them. Our like our ancient skills. I'm gonna try to unarmor one of them before the other one gets over here. Frick. Hello Jake! Welcome in. I am good. It is still Tuesday night for me. So I'm chilling. I have not quite hit Wednesday yet. I get shield attacking their attack. No, your internet is down? What is happening? The wave of internet downness. How are you doing, Jake? Welcome in. We are in the cave of ordeals. This is our second attempt at uh, getting deep into the cave of ordeals. This is where I lost last time. I feel like we're getting close to the end, but we haven't done it yet, so I don't know. Audio only right now. Okay, yeah, totally understandable. You can hear their armors falling off. Or not. I'm getting blocked. My attacks are getting blocked. Ooh, okay. One of them has- they've both gone into speed mode now. 
I'm gonna get attacked from the back. Holy crap. Oh, they can't get hit by this. What? They're too fast. Can I claw shot them? They're too fast for claw shot too. Oh! Jab attack me. Wow, they they have a lot of blocking going on. Okay. But yeah, they're both at their second stage. You just gotta No! I got knocked out of the air. I might need to take my sec another potion suit. Oh my god! Let's take take a blue potion. Run away, Link! At least you hope audio only mode saves data. I feel like it it should. I also hope so. That would only make sense. Okay, one is down. One more to go. We did it! We can check out this room for any dig spots. There is one. A, a single blue A what? It's not a blue rupee. It's <laughs> it's a silver rupee. It says you got two hundred rupees. We got zero rupees because <laughs> our wallet was full. No, uh, no, it's okay. Let's see what's beyond this. It's it's a fairy. That's where we died last time, right before a fairy. Is it going further? I don't even know what's happening. There's still another door. Where are they gonna summon fairies now, I wonder? I'm impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Lanayru Spring. Lanayru Spring. I don't know where that is. I don't remember. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to move freely from wall to wall. There's more! We have the double claw shot. So we gotta continue. We got a heart container stamp. Wow, nice. Um, holy crap. They threw those two knights at us. How could there be more stronger enemies? No, what is this room? What is this? It's a three by three of Armos. <laughs> I'm equipping bombs. I don't know what to do. Holy crap. What do I do in this situation? Okay, hopefully one can explode more of them. Just go explode the other people. Go! It doesn't affect them? I can't even see. Oh, frick. Are they invulnerable until they're activated? That was weird. It looked like I couldn't attack them. This is too many! This is too many guys! Do you think- I wonder if they'll put, uh, one of those flying, uh, flying enemies against us. The flying Dinolfos. Did something happen to stream? Yeah, we- we disconnected earlier. Uh, because of an internet blip, so you might need to refresh, yeah. You just politely walk around. Welcome to New Suites! Oh my gosh. Okay, only two more. Probably shouldn't have been standing next to that explosion, but... What can you do? Ah! Alright, let's check this room for... any dig spots before we go forward. 
All right, now let's uh, claw shot our way in. This is, I kind of forgot that we got the double claw shot. I was like, oh yeah, um, what was it? Like the, the statue, the dominion rod was the last item that we got, right? And then, so I expected it to end, but it's not over yet. So many plants. Whoa, these minions are tall. What? Why are they so big? <laughs> big minion. In Japan, it's called Copy Rod, and it's written in Hylian at some points. Oh, that is a fun fact. I'm jabbing over them. Oh, frick. I just like did five jabs over their body instead of attacking them. Ugh. Okay. Okay, let's check if there's any diggable things here. It would be nice. Alas. What a long place, holy crap. Ah! Um, I don't know if that's the best attack to be using. Well, wow, there's a lot going on. Can... Can my shield please protect me from arrows? Shout out of the air. Okay, I think that's everyone. Uh, I will once again. I need to pay attention to my HP because we're getting kind of low. I have two blue potions left, and a lot of enemies left. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, man. The Poe is gonna... Oh, we are so crowded in here. Get out of here. I can't see! <laughs> oh my god, they're just shielding it. Yeah, PP camera, thanks, camera. Thank you for your hard work, camera. Trying to get around to their backside. I wish I had more prompts for like the jump over them attack. I like the skull crusher or something. I like that attack too. Okay, our HP is getting quite low. I think the Poe is really attacking me right now. Okay, I don't know what it's like to fight the Lizalfos, Dinolfos, uh, with Wolf Link, but maybe I should have been doing that. The final Poe of this region! We got them. We are also in the last 10 Poes for, like, the entire game. We are approaching the end. We have 52 Poes. I am definitely going to drink a uh, blue potion now. Or should I go? I'll go for the purple first and see what happens. And then I'll drink the blue. <laughs> Heal us. No, it didn't do anything. It took away one heart. Whew, okay, we only have one more heal left after this. That's not... A lot. Oh, there's a rare chew! Are you kidding me? No. How am I gonna get that? Stop! <gasps> Ow. The 
This is really rough. I don't really know how, how to fight these guys. Oh my god. There, I knocked down their tower. But they're still firing at me, which is a problem. Did the rare chew get swallowed? Oh! We did we got it! Oh my god! Okay, we saved the rare chew. <laughs> thank you for the PP po. I think you for PP. Replenish all life, energy, and attack. Boost attack strength for a little while. That is great. I love it. And we gotta get out of here. Uh Where's the other guy? Okay, jeez. I wonder how Choo Choo do against a ball and chain? Whoa! It's not really that great against them because they're really fast. But it's funny. <laughs> The, the controller vibrations make it extra fun. I was determined to save that rare chew. I'm glad we were able to do it. I'll grab a purp- I can grab two purples if I'm fast enough. And we can use it before the next time we do a full heal. <laughs> oh, get it. oh my god. We're so back! We got the rare true jelly to to carry us through the rest of this. I feel like the night fight was really tough though. I don't know how they're gonna make it tougher than that. It's scary to think what they're gonna do. More chill foes. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to equip my ball. The two knights fight is so cool. Yeah! The one knight fight, like, in... In the temple was all already felt- Oh, there's another chill force behind us, of course. The knight fight already felt super cool. Are you kidding me? There's rats too?! Ugh, as if this wasn't hard enough. Ah, uh, cold wolfie. Do the rats only take damage if I have my senses on? That doesn't seem right. I was trying really hard not to get frozen there. Come on, Wolf Link. Uh. Ow. Oh my gosh. The range on these ice breaths is really a lot. Ah, stop! He's cold! Okay. You don't know how to do all- yeah, it is- it's hard. I- I do really like the, uh, roll around to the back of the enemy attack. I feel like it, it gives a lot of openings for like getting past shields and armors. So I've enjoyed that for breaking down armors. But yeah, like once there were two of them next to each- once they were really next to each other, I didn't know how to- how to like separate the knights again or what to do. I'm gonna guess there's no dig spots. In this one. 
We already had the invisible rats as our treats. It's dark in here. There's just one guy. What's happening? It's like the first room that we went in. Okay, not just one guy, but it- It looked like just one guy! <laughs> we got ambushed by so many rats! They sure made it look like the first room that we were in. Why am I collecting rupees? We're full. Oh my gosh. I guess the two knights fights also made me feel like I wish that I could make them do like friendly fire to each other with their giant weapon. Oops, is that? Who is that? Oh my gosh, it is the flying guy, but they're grounded right now. They're just sitting. They're just sitting. Okay, um... I don't know how this is gonna go. And there's a knight. We got to the back of the knight at least. I have to wait for them to shield, I guess, in order to grab them. There. Ow. The other one saved them. Oh my gosh! It, they, I pulled myself towards them. No, they're so armored. What are they saying? <laughs> they were saying something funny. They threw their giant sword at me. That's not nice. Oh, okay. How am I missing? I need to use my shield attack or something. Don't kick me, that's not nice. Okay, uh... What do we do here? Let's do ch blue chew jelly. I can't claw shot the knight towards me. We've tried that. Oh my god, these guys are so swooping at me. It'll be so helpful if I can just get rid of one of the flying guys. That would make a huge difference. There we go. And the knight's almost done now. I would love to shield attack one of those attacks. Hi. <laughs> Swooping in. Okay. We just need to get this last... Maybe around the other side. There's shields on the other side. I don't know. Seems like we need to do the arrow to make them shield and then we can grab them. Ooh, we did it. That was hard. <laughs> now reverse the, the number. Do two knights and one flying guy. It's foggy in this room. Oh no, why did I say that? No. <laughs> There's two knights! There's a pink one! There's a- there's like a... Sort of red tinted one and a blue tinted one. Is this like a phantom hourglass reference or something? What could it be? Oh, There's three of them! What the frick?! No! 
This is this is not what I asked for. Bring back the flying guy. Bring, bring them back. Who would have seen this coming? I didn't want it to be true. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm not sure how else to approach them. Okay. I got some armor off the blue one. I don't know, what is y'all's approach to, to these fights like? My approach is clearly to uh, do the behind spin. Do y'all like try to parry a bunch or? I'm too scared and impatient to try to parry. I see um, some prompts for Helm, helm Splitter right now, which is cool. Your approach is to cry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Oh my god. You couldn't have to figure out how to fight more than one knight. So what did you do? This is kind of hard. <laughs> you just did it anyway. I would- I really want to use the Helm Splitter attack if, uh, if they will allow me. Ooh. I don't know. This is rough. I wish I could easily change uh, who I'm targeting as well. Ugh. Oh, a lot of back rolling maybe, yeah. That seems good. I have to watch out. Okay, I think it's time for purple. <laughs> we got one? We've never gotten like a big boost. Whew, okay, we gotta drink that rare chew jelly immediately. <laughs> we are powerful for like two seconds. We must use it. Ow, okay, we're no longer powerful. <laughs> what? I wish I could like draw one of them out, but they're all aggroed on me. Okay, now I can maybe try to separate out the fast one by killing them. I wonder if the fast one's affected by bombs. How is the chew of jelly puff meant to be used? I don't know. Wait, why do I have bomb arrows? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, combo off. Ow, Link, no. Link turned off his targeting. Can you, f Fast Knight, come over here and fight me? Yes, okay, we got one of them. Uh, I think it's easiest when they do that down slash attack and then I can jump to the left and attack them from the left. But... It's kind of hard for me to bait out that attack specifically. Ow. They do that attack sometimes. Woo! I want to get out of here. Yeah, now it's just two, just like last time. I wonder why they have different colors. Maybe to help you tell, tell apart like who you've done damage to, but... It would be cool if there was a lore. Okay, one of them is fast mode now.
I want to target the fast move guy. Ugh. I need to use my shield. You love their fast move movements? Yeah, me too. Also, I like that they get rid of their previous sword by, uh, by throwing it at us. It's so funny. It's like Hammer Kirby getting rid of his hammer. Oh, ow. The problem is I don't, I don't have this one Z targeted. It's not nice. The fast, the fast one guy tries to kick us. It's not nice. <laughs> okay, this one has got to be done soon. Yes. I wonder if it's like in Wii Sports Resort where if you get them to, if you get them to uh, block in a certain way, if you can do the the correct opposite slice, then you can attack them but i don't know oh my god i don't have any heals take this take this uh. welcome to fast mode what hp do we have i have five and a half H I have five and a half HP. I don't know. I'm. S I don't know if this is the end. I'm so stressed. At least we got our pose, but I feel like they're hiding like a, a piece of heart down here. I won. <laughs> we defeated the last night. What is the tip? Is it that I have a shield? <laughs> we didn't. Uh, there's no dig spots in here. Thank you for the. The PP though. Magic armor? Oh my god, yeah. We have so many rupees. That's right. That is a good tip. We got a fairy stamp! Aw, that's a good stamp. The chest was up there instead of down here, so I have to assume that this is the end. It must. They can't do more than three nights. They can't do it. Only four players allowed. <laughs> you cleared many ordeals. How impressive. She's walking towards us. In praise of your courage, I will give you this blessing. What? Great fairy's tears. The sacred water contains the great fairy's prayers. It's in her bottle? Drink it to replenish life energy <laughs> for a while. Boost attack strength. She's caressing her face. Drink this and you should be able to clear any difficulties that you might encounter ahead. If you ever need my assistance again, visit any spring. Many on the surface cry out for one with powers like yours. You must go back. Oh yeah, I wonder how deep underground we are. Oh my gosh. I will scoop these fairies now. Great fairies tears. Increase your attack power for a while. I feel like that's not very different from the rare chew jelly. I don't I don't have much faith in it. But we did it! We won! There was no piece of heart down there. Oh my god. What? Oh yeah. Where did we get it? And thank you for PP. Okay, we have three fairies now in our inventory. I'm a snake statue. Oh. I think we can now go over there. I did not go over- I don't think I went over here before. Uh, we need a claw shot to get over here. Giovanni and the first great fairy- oh yeah! I don't remember from the first Great Fairy for sure, but Giovanni sounds familiar. If you put every TP map 
in one map how far down the ordeal floors would go. Yeah, I wonder. I don't remember if I went up here before. I kind of don't think so. Yeah, it seems unfamiliar to me. Oh. There's some chests over here and some torches. Five rupees. We definitely have room for that. Bombs. How far down compared to how long some of the maps are. Yeah. I wonder too. Let's light these torches. I never went in here. So many snake statues. Piece of heart! Yay, we need two more to fill up a container. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's any other quick things we can do. But, uh... This is pretty good. We did a lot today. Oh my gosh. Look at- look at that. There's some very tall, hookshotable, clawshotable things in this room. We're, uh, we got z zooped back to, like, Lake Hylia's spring. Oh, I can't reach that one. Maybe I have to start back from there. Why is there a glowing spot back where we were? I also don't know if I explored under here. No, I don't think I did. I see a chest in there. Yeah, no problem. Sorry you didn't get to re-experience the, the, the night fight. <laughs> Got some rupees from the bottom of this lake. Uh, I can't breathe. I need to wear my Zora armor. Let's just clear out this area and then we can save. It looks like there's a lot of things to get under here. Um, there's bombable rocks and lots of small treasure chests. You did the quick cave twice, so you got to. I see. <laughs> did you do it twice because you... There were little differences the second time? Oh, okay. You did it twice, like you won it twice? What were the little differences? If we're gonna do the DLC version, I'm gonna have to get better at combat. <laughs> I wish there was a place where we could review our skills, but... Sometimes I feel like the prompt just needs to show up. Are the little differences worth doing? I don't know how little we're talking. I'd be curious, but uh, I'd have to figure out or like read about the night mechanics a little bit because that got very tough there. Oh, okay. L that they're not worth it. Uh... I guess there's nothing else down here. There were some small chests with rupees and there were some bombable rocks with rupees. Oh, uh, are these fish different fish than... Who are you? Are you a Hylian loach? What is that? That looks like a Hylian loach. <laughs> what is it doing here? Can I fish you? It doesn't seem to match my other fish. It looks like the, the our loach guy. Hey, what are you doing here? I wonder if they're... Maybe they're, uh... The last fish I need. Oh, loach! Let's try fishing them. Uh, but I kind of want to do the claw shotting stuff first. How can I fish them? Ah, I can't get... I can't get out of here! Okay. 
I was having trouble surfacing. There's a little extra text that you'd like, but you accidentally ran past it on your run. No! There's a glowy spot. Oh, it stopped me. Welcome, hero. The tears you hold, they are blessed. Drink them and you shall better endure the dangers that await you. If you ever have need of me, come to this place. Huh. I guess we can get more Great Fairy's tears by going back here. Whoa, my cursor didn't turn yellow, but I still was able to grab it. Let's claw shot up this way and across. I guess it's to get to, there's a chest over there. Yeah, maybe we can make the loach appear in our journal by, by fishing them here. Yeah, I think I'd rather try the DLC, the DLC ordeals than do the same dungeon ordeals again. Since I already kind of went through it like three fourths of it, I did. I already did twice. Open, hello. The prompt wasn't showing up. 100 rupees! <laughs> no. I wonder how many rupees we have not. Huh, I guess that's why all the enemies drop drop rupees, right? Because then it just refills your magic armor. If you use the magic armor in, in, the, in the cave of ordeals. Okay, um, what was it? Oh yeah, I was gonna fish the loach. Are you a baby Hylian loach? They look like the loach, but I, am I just mistake, mis mistaking them for another fish? I don't know. I guess we won't find out until I fish them. Let's try it. My eyes are so open. <laughs> From uh, fighting the knights, my eyes are so open. Like, I, I feel like I haven't blinked in ages. Eight chill foes on floor 36. There were that many floors? I, I wasn't keeping count, but... <laughs> I didn't realize it was this many floors we did. Eight chill foes instead of four. Three dark nuts instead of two. And four dark nuts instead of three. So they did do the four nights. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I see I see the use of the magic armor. And on the ledge above the great fairy, the postman is reading a letter and wondering if he's lost. Oh my god! The postman made it to the bottom of the floor. It's all 50 floors. Why is the postman such a legend? Yeah, PP postman. He made it down to, at the bottom of the cave for deals. That's a really good postman cameo. Out of all these postman cameos. I also love the uh, fruit balloon minigame postman cameo that Kimlon pointed out. You jumped off by accident. No. Where's the loach? Loach. And loaf. No, where are they going? Are there just like tons of Hylian loach chilling in here? Does, does Hedda need to know about this? I'm waiting for them to bite. Because maybe it's just like a different type of fish and I'm mistaking them. Let's see. Hello. Do I need like wormies for you? Do I have to go get worms? 
for from like the the fishing hole. Hello? I don't have bait. My my bottles are kind of full of fairies. Can I use fairies as bait? Ah bites. Yo. I see them approaching, but I don't see them biting. Or at least, like, I don't see them pulling enough. That looks like a really big green gill. Maybe they're only nibbling because I don't have bait. The great fairy gives you another bottle of tears at the bottom. You don't remember if she has different text. I see. Wow, um... Yeah, those are very few differences. I feel like I'm probably better off just doing the DLC uh, dungeon thing instead of doing that again. But for Postman, though, <laughs> that's pretty good that they put Postman at the bottom. You could get four tier bottles, but you'd have to beat it four times because you only get a refill if you don't have any at all. Without using any? You only get a refill if you don't use any? You mean? Okay, it looks like they don't want to actually bite. Unless I have bait. Yeah, I'm a bit confused on the last part. Uh... So dark out here. I'm gonna get some some bait from the fishing hole. How are you doing, Kimlon? How awake are you? I I know our sleep schedules are s strange today. Pretty tired, yeah. I will wrap up soon. And, uh, the thing tomorrow is, like, during the day. Um, the surface fairy springs only give you a bottle of tears if you have none. Oh, I see. But the fairy on floor 50 will give you one every time you reach floor 50. Yeah, that's a lot of times to beat it. I didn't realize we went through 50 floors. I really wasn't counting, so... That's a lot. Digging. Okay, uh... I'm gonna grab... Two worms. That's a good bottle sound. Uh, all right. Now let's warp right back. That's the desert. Where's like Hylia? Here it is. I wonder how many how many pose we have left. Uh, I'm gonna take a look. I know we're in the last ten. Ooh, pretty moon. <gasps> yeah, we have eight left. Run in, run in. Oh, there's a chest on the top of this thing, of this here. I wonder if uh, we need. To use Kuko for that, or if we can claw shot somehow. I don't know. Okay. Loach, I have brought you some treats. You think they're they're there? So 
sort of in the middle-ish. I don't know how to not get the other fish, though. There, like in the middle, straight ahead. Hello? Maybe I need the sinking lure. No, we can only use that when we're on the boat, huh? Fish on, okay, here it is. here we go. It's a Hylian loach! It's small! Oh my gosh, we got a baby Hylian loach! It's the fry of a legendary fish. Press down to check the fish you've caught on the collection screen. Release this one, because it's a baby. Thank you for PP! Oh my gosh, did we do it? We found it! Yay! A legend among true anglers. Catching an adult is ultra rare. Wow, we caught a big one for Henna then. Wow. We did it, we got all the fish. We don't have all the bugs yet, but we are getting close to 100%. All right, that about wraps things up for me today though. So I'm gonna step out into Hi Lake Hylia and we're gonna save right here. We're gonna do more 100%ing um, next time. There's like, I don't know, there's like a chest on top of here I'll write down about after I close the game and then uh, we'll do the pose and then I think after one more collecting stream then we'll go through the portal and we'll check it out. What's the secret about fish? I want to know. I know, where are the mystery bugs? Are they- maybe they're here, like in this area. I haven't thoroughly explored like Hylia very much I think, especially like this tall I feel like we haven't really explored this map like over here I don't think I've ever been to this ledge so yeah we'll explore Lake Hylia next time uh, we come back what is the secret about fish you can fish in places with enemy skeleton or bomb fish and get funny text oh my gosh that is funny I know those places for that in the water temple. Okay, save. Yes. Uh, all right, 51 hours. And we will not continue playing for this time. Nice, I see. Yeah, that sounds pretty funny. Thanks for all the fun facts about this game. Skeleton fish in the central room. Oh, yeah. Um, there's also like that one, there's a hidden grove with a bunch of skeleton fish. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I remember defeating all of them just in case there was something from them, but there wasn't. You only read about the bomb fish online. I see. Thanks everyone for hanging out. This game is very fun. I still stick by the fact, or not the fact, my onion that uh, the combat is super fun in this game. Even after the cave of ordeals, um, the knights are very difficult. Uh, I wish I knew a little bit more about the specifics, but you know, maybe it would be easier to to get the specifics when you're fighting one knight instead of two or three, <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I think it was it was really fun um, finding out some little finicky details about the the combat today, and and all the stuff. You drained all your rupees fighting four of them. Oh my gosh! I wonder what it looks like when your motion is impeded. Is it like when you have the rats on your legs? Um, let me see if there's anyone on the line today. Um, 
I think. We'll go raid Blue Candy. Blue Candy is still live. He's been playing... I was watching him earlier. It is Tuesday, so it's Blue's day. So he's been live for like 11 hours. But he's playing some Kaizo Iron Mon in um, a Gen 3 remake game now. Now that he's won um, the other one that he was playing. So we'll... We will say, uh, Katsu PP raid. Yeah, the bigger wallets, yeah. I imagine so too. I wonder what the draining rate is like compared to the GameCube version and the Wii U for the, um, magic armor. Yeah, good night, Jay. Thanks for hanging out. We'll say PP. Katsu. Wait. Okay. Good night, everyone. Red, blue candy. Good night, good night. Take care. Have a great rest of your day or night and or night. And I'll be back with Pikmin on Thursday. Bye.